May the grace of the Lord God be with each one of you this day. May he shine upon you in goodness. Welcome to the fellowship of God's people. Friends, why do we come together? Why do we carve out some time in our week and get together and do the things that we're doing? Well, it's God's will that all believers would unite themselves into a community of like-minded believers. And some of the things that we strive for in a church fellowship is we strive to have a commitment to the inerrancy and the sufficiency of the Bible for an appreciation of biblical truth and a passion to preach it and teach it we strive to be faithful to orthodox Trinitarian Christianity especially the kind that is found in the classic confessions of faith that arise from the Reformation. We strive to be a society that has a high view of God and a recognition of humankind's sinfulness and need of a Savior. We strive to have a conviction that Christ and His Gospel are central and preeminent in the Christian faith. We strive for a biblical understanding of the new life in Christ, of conversion, of faith leading to repentance, and the, the acquired holiness of God. We strive for a dedication to worship God biblically, in the fear of the Lord as opposed to worshiping out of a spirit of entertainment or emo emotionalism or sentiment we strive to have a leadership that consists of men who are holy humble who are able to teach who are able to lay down their lives for the believers under their care and exercise a pastoral discipline over them we strive for a commitment to biblical counseling and church discipline. We strive in our society to have a genuine pursuit of Christ-likeness, of holiness, and a love with a brokenness over our own shortcomings, and a refusal to exalt ourselves over sound and faithful ways. As a society we strive to be real and observable in our commitment to evangelism and missions. We strive to have a dependence upon God expressed in regular meetings with fervent prayer. The Bible teaches us that Sanctification, which is personal growth in holiness or Christ-likeness, is the will of God. For this to be real in our lives, we must pursue God through the reading of the scriptures, through prayer, through fellowship with godly believers, and by abstaining from the sinful things of this world lest they contaminate us. Friends, we strive to proclaim that each and every believer is a part of a royal priesthood. It's not just the guy up front having a special calling that is unique and set aside and apart from the calling that all Christians share.
that we should build each other up in the good things of God. We should minister. And this do doesn't just mean that the guy up front speaking should minister, but that we all minister to each other. That we all have a service that we can render to each other. And that God himself has put us together as a body. To be holy. And to be prepared and to serve in the work for which he has called us. And what is that work? Well, it's the will of God that the gospel of Jesus Christ be preached to all nations and to every person. Christ's command to us has been called the Great Commission. Each Christian is committed to this task. This includes caring for believers who are persecuted from their faith, helping those in need, and doing works of charity for those who do not believe. Friends, what a high calling this is. What a good thing God's fellowship is. Let's take a moment and go before God in prayer and open our worship together. Heavenly Father, honor to you and glory to your name. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you for how you've taken care of us. Thank you, Lord, that you love us, even in our sinfulness. And that the gospel was your idea. And that eternal life was not something we came and demanded of you, but was something that you thought of and that you initiated to give to us as a gift, an undeserved gift. Thank you, God, for your faithful and loyal love. Thank you, Lord, for the ministry of Jesus Christ, Thank you for appointing him to be a mediator on our behalf. You appointed him to this high office in eternity past. You planned salvation to occur and to happen throughout history as the Holy Spirit would move and work in various people related to the preaching and the proclamation of the good news of God. Lord, thank you for bringing us together as a body. Lord, I lift each person up who is here. And I pray for their good. And I say thank you, God, for them. Lord, please bless our assembly. Lord, please let us grow in holiness and in honor. Let the good things of God be reflected in us. Let our lives be lived in response. Lord, let us be loyal and loving sons and daughters of your love. Lord, we pray for those who aren't here, Lord, and we pray for our nation in this time of great distress, Lord. Lord, on the surface, things seem very normal. But Lord, underneath, we can see with insight just how wrong everything in this land is going. We can see, Lord, that though the sun shines today, the darkness that is in our land and that is in the hearts of men is a deep darkness. 
And Lord God, it is a darkness that would burst out upon this land if your restraining hand did not keep us. So we thank you, Lord, that you have kept us safe. Lord, as the darkness rises in this land, as the hearts of people grow darker and darker, as as evil things come into the mind of average citizens, Lord, and as perverse and disgusting things that were once unheard of are now trumpeted in this land not only as acceptable behavior but as behavior that all people especially Christians must affirm oh God help our land Lord we pray to be faithful to you we pray for your grace Lord Lord, we pray for our leaders. In a time when people reject every kind of authority, when people resist and become ungovernable and employ violence and destruction to further their political aims, oh God, I pray for our land. In a time when justice seems weak, when godly men seem weak and evil seems strong. Oh God, hear our prayer. Lord, I lift up new life and new families. Lord, we lift up our wives and our children. Oh God, help us to provide as men. Help us to be good and loving and caring toward our wives and our families. Help us, Lord, to be wholesome. Let us be separate and set apart from unclean things. Lord, we pray for wholesomeness in our lives. Thank you, Jesus. In his name we pray. Amen. All right, let's sing some beautiful things to the Lord. Let's start with number 41, 4, 1, my friends. We've got four verses here. <laughs> 41. Join in when you can. Crown him with many crowns. <laughs> Crown him with many crowns, the Lamb upon his throne. Hark as the heavenly anthem drowns all music but its own. Awake my soul and sing Of him who died for thee And hailed him as thy matchless king Through all eternity Crown him the Lord of love Behold his hands and side Rich wounds yet visible above, in beauty glorified. No angel in the sky can fully bear that sight, but downward bends his burning eye at mystery so bright. Crown him the Lord of life, who triumphed o'er the grave, and rose victorious in the strife for those he came to save. His glories now we sing, who 
died and rose on high, who died eternal life to bring, and lives that death may die. Crown him the Son of God, before the worlds began, and ye who tread where he hath trod, crown him the Son of Man. All hail, Redeemer, hail, for thou hast died for me. Thy praise and glory shall not fail throughout eternity. Amen, my friends. Amen. Number five. Y'all are sounding good today. You know, you don't have to sing in church. It's not a requirement. But I want to tell you something. If you've been saved from everlasting judgment, from the very fires of hell, you've got something to sing about. And so for me, it's a joy. Now if it was just being saved from hell, that would be enough reason to be happy and rejoice. But on top of it, we receive Christ. We receive a fellowship and a relationship with the very Son of the Holy God. Wow, that's another reason to sing. And so I'm not saying you have to sing. And I'm not even saying it has to be in tune. I'm just saying we have a good reason to sing. So friends, let's sing number five together. <clears throat> Come we that love the Lord, and let our joys be known. Join in a song with sweet accord, and thus surround the throne. Let those refuse to sing, who never knew our God. But children of the heavenly King may speak their joys abroad. The hill of Zion yields a thousand sacred sweets. Before we reach the heavenly fields or walk the golden streets, then let our songs abound, and every tear be dry. We're marching through Emmanuel's ground to fairer worlds on high. Amen. Y'all are sounding great today. One five zero. Blessed assurance. One five zero. One five zero. Two verses. Join in with me. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine! Heir of salvation, purchase of God, born of His Spirit, washed in His blood. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. Two, perfect submission, all is at rest. 
I in my Savior am happy and blessed, watching and waiting, looking above, filled with his goodness, lost in his love. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. Verse 1 again. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Heir of salvation, purchase of God. Born of His Spirit, washed in His blood. This is my story, this is my song, Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, Praising my Savior all the day long. Try 121. 121. Let's don't say we did. 121, my friends. <laughs> Loved with everlasting love, led by grace that love to know. Spirit breathing from above, Thou hast taught me it is so. Oh, this full and perfect peace, Joy and wonder all divine, In a love which cannot cease, I am His and He is mine. Repeat. In a love which cannot cease, I am His, and He is mine. Heaven above is softer blue, earth around is sweeter green. Something lives in every hue, Christless eyes have never seen. Birds with gladder songs or flow, flowers with deeper beauty shine. Since I know, as now I know, I am His and He is mine. Since I know, as now I know, I am His and He is forever only his who the lord and me shall part ah with what a rest of bliss christ can fill the loving heart heaven and earth may fade and flee firstborn light in bloom decline but while God and I shall be, I am His and He is mine. But while God and I shall be, I am His and He is mine. Amen, my friends.